Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Spyro 2, Gateway to Natosa. Ripto's Rage. It's called Ripto's Rage. Uh, anyway, last time we went to, uh, Cloud Temples, finished that off. I'm convinced that the wizards are the evil ones and the warlocks are good. Despite claims to the contrary from the wizards. Next, uh, so this time we're going to Metropolis here. I believe this only activated when we got a certain number of orbs, which is why the professor's standing here. But we already had all the orbs from the entire game up until now, so it just sort of opened immediately. Anyway, let's head on in. Whoa, that's that's some uh, frame rate problems there. My goodness. Spyro just doing a barrel roll very slowly. <laughs> So, uh, gotta breathe a little fire. I hope that's cool with everyone. Um, I don't know if it's like, like a Sonic Adventure 2 kind of thing, if we're gonna be escaping from the city. Oh, robots, okay. We've got robots and rocket pigs waiting for the bus? Alright. Not really sure what to make of that. Um. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. What insurrection? Wasn't a pig just standing next to you at the bus stop? What the? Oh, there's like a force field there to stop you from falling off. I guess that's helpful. It's confusing though, because there's also an item just there that I wanted to get. Um, okay, that's a cow in a, a spacesuit with a ray gun. If you say so. This is so weird. <laughs> um, what do we got here? Uh, we got tubes full of orange... Power juice or whatever. The budget cuts. These elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it will start working again if you just give it a good whack, though. Thanks, droid. Um, did I miss anything? Don't think so. I seem to like head bonk on it, right? Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, I can't move while the other is elevator's active. That's, just, that's weird. All right. Let me just grab all of these. Okay, there's one of them rocket pigs. Oh, I see. Okay, they're launching themselves at people. Okay, okay. That makes a little more sense. But I mean, in the cutscene, it was just, they were just standing at the bus stop. I think that's probably fine. Ow. Hello, pig. No, pig, you're a cow? Like a, maybe a bull? I don't know. You're some sort of bovine. Ugh. I am reacting too slowly to these. There we go. Is there anything I could take out for butterflies? I don't think so. I wonder if there's a force field here too. Yep, there sure is. Um, uh, don't touch the electric water, I guess. Not sure why there's a puddle of electric water there. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what's going on elsewhere, but, you know, whatever. Oh, no pigs! Okay, I took a hit there. I... okay, I think, I think these little egg robots... yeah, those are butterflies. Okay. 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 I uh, can't open that yet. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. And here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I would advise using the bombs against it. And it will probably take several bombs at that. 
I'm not sure I want to stop this insurrection. These, like, smug, suit-wearing droids... Like, they're the bourgeois. I don't want to help them. <sighs> Alright, what bombs? Oh, I'm supposed to just go out on the walkway. Oh, and I can flame them to send them back? Okay. This is silly. The, um, ice controls are not very good. In case you weren't aware. Like, like most games, controlling yourself on ice isn't good. You also can't jump off the ice in this game to try to get more traction. Um, because that's a thing that usually works in video games. It doesn't work in Crash either. You can jump off of ice, but you keep your momentum. Unlike in, say, Mario. Where you can, like, cancel out ice physics by jumping above the ice. Uh, thanks? I... I still don't like you. I feel bad for doing that. <sighs> it seems like every level in this game is some kind of active war zone that I have to take a side in. And it doesn't, like, give me any say in what side I take. <laughs> hmm... It's a bit of a questionable design, you know? Uh... Do I have to bonk this one too? Yep. And yeah, you can't move while it's active. It's like a fixed cutscene. Why are the pigs launching when I haven't even entered the room yet? Like, they know they're gonna just crash into this thing, because I'm standing on the other side. Hmm. Oh, okay, this one goes up when you when you headbonk it. Was not expecting that. <laughs> it's just a little strange. Now we're going for this one with a head bash. There we go. Headbonk. Yeah, I had to get hit by one of those eventually. These guys, you just stand in front of them, wait till they move their shield. Pretty easy. Provided you know you spot them, otherwise you might have some problems. Something in here? Nope. That looked like a hiding place for something, but there's nothing there. Oh, okay, it's gone higher up than I expected. Hello. Oh, force field. Uh okay. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting the Okay, you're kinda cute, but Please you're still part of the bourgeois, so the creatures seem to like. Uh, yeah, okay, I got an orb. Combination power up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Hmm. I'm happy with letting them invade, honestly. Okay, so it lets you fly and it gives you super fire breath. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Annoying though, because, yeah. Wouldn't be this game if it weren't a bit annoying sometimes. <sighs> it's 
Seriously? Mm. There we go, butterfly. Trying to fly through the little gate and power up again, but it didn't happen. Ah! There we go. Again, the power, like the time limit on the power up is pointless. Just give me the power up and stop, like wasting the fun by making me have to keep backtracking. Hmm. Also, aiming this is really, really terrible. Like, it's, it's really, really bad. I don't know if I can still go into- yeah, I can go into look for you like this, but you can't do that while flying. And yeah, you, you fly with the same controls you aim the flames with, and there's no reticle or anything. It, it's, it's not good. <laughs> oh right, I don't have a dragonfly. I've been going around like completely defenseless all this time. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> this is not a very difficult game. I don't know if maybe you've noticed. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I'll just keep an eye out for uh, Healy what's its. Or I'll just do that. You knock those sheep right out of the sky. Take this orb device as proof of your skill. Okay. Of course it is. Of course I sent out a distress call. I was like, heartlessly killing them all for no particular reason. Besides, a, a robot told me to. Yeah, I'm not really getting behind the conflict here, <laughs> you may have noticed. Also, yeah, grabbing gems without a dragonfly is really annoying. I have got to find a healy... what's it? One of those little eggs that you can blow up and there's like a butterfly in. You know the ones. There we go, there's one. This last part is a bit more explorey, which I like, rather than focusing on a more, you know, linear sort of experience. I'm not sure why this game is focusing more on linear level design than the first one did. I mean, I know certain areas were quite linear, but there's a whole lot more, you know, here is the objective you need to go to in this one than there was in the original. <laughs> Being able to speed up while flying would be helpful. Like, you can't control your speed at all. You fly forward at this velocity regardless of what you do. I think charging, yeah, you just drop to the ground if you try to charge. If you go faster and slower, like maybe make your base speed a little slower but make it so charging makes you charge in mid-air or something, that would be better. Easier to steer and catch up with stuff. Here, keep this to 
Commemorate your victory. Is it an orb? I knew it. It's an orb. Alright, um, I think... All orbs collected, yeah. I think I saw the, um, little rocket. Hang on. Yeah, there's just a little bit missing. Why don't we go, Sparks? Okay, you can't do the spinning thing while flying, so that's unhelpful. Hmm. I guess the purpose of the time limit is so you can't really fly in the early parts of the level when you're not supposed to be able to, but... Why does that matter, honestly? Do I activate this? I don't know what it does. It goes down. Oh, right. It connects up to this bit. Hmm. This might be the right way, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, right. So I get here real fast so I can do that before it runs out. Okay. Well, that's the level. Uh, let's just make our way back to the end and get out of here. That did not take long at all. Okay. Um, again, I don't think I side with the quote-unquote good guys in this, in this active war. They don't seem to be that good. War is bad, y'all. I, I don't know if you knew that already. Probably did. It's kind of a well-known fact about the universe that we live in. Uh, what are you doing down there in the... in the electric stuff? It's not safe. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's it for this level. Bye! You're still, like, not someone I trust, because I don't like stopping this insurrection, but whatever. Oh my goodness. Take that, jerk. So, yeah, that was weird. The opening and closing cutscenes didn't really have anything to do with the conflict. It was just this guy waiting for the bus, and then getting sick of waiting for the bus, and getting killed. Um, I think that might be all the levels. We might be on to going to Repto's Lair next time, but I'm just gonna have a quick look just to make sure. Once the main area loads again. Percent level complete just means the hub is complete, so that doesn't really tell us much. Let's go have a look around. Now uh, that's Robotic of Farms, which I've done. Um, up here is just Ripto's Lair, right? There isn't like a level up here too? Turning up these stairs is pretty annoying. <laughs> oh, Ripto's Arena, sorry, I thought it was Lair. Uh, you got the warps back to the previous two worlds, which I've done. Uh... Like a farms. <laughs> Nothing down there. There was some stuff down here, but I think it was just treasure that I already got. Let's just have a quick peek. Got some penguins. Uh, we got this little area. Oh, that's right. We had to... Oh, hang on. Here's something. It's a speedway. I'll... Tr I'll try it once. You know how I feel about speedways. I don't like speedways. <laughs> um, but... If... I, I think that's the last actual level. I think we just go into Rip Goes Arena next video. And then we go into Spyro 3, which is exciting. Unless completing Ripto's Arena opens up like a post-game or something. I, I don't really know what to expect.
Yeah, again, if the flying controls were better, this would be more fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'll give it one more try. Oh right, yeah, there's this huge loading screen every time you retry one of these for some reason. Does it even use a life when you when you fail one of these? I don't think it does. Like it says reigniting, which is the same thing it says when you die, but I don't think you actually die. Sparrow's just a bad flyer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of time in a moment. Because I can't speed up and go faster. <sighs> okay, one more shot and then that's the video. And yeah, it has to do the reigniting thing for some reason. I don't know why that is. Let's just focus on the rams first, see if I can get all of them. Yep, got all of them. Okay, now these rings, you have to do something real ridiculous to make it through here without crashing. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Making making our way. Making our way downtown. <laughs> uh, then there's these guys, and then there's some other thing, but I don't know what. Because there's always four things. I think there's always four things. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, vultures. <laughs> well, well, whatever. I got some treasure. Let's just quit for now. So yeah, that was the speedway level. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all the levels in the game. Um, you know, besides Ripto's Arena, which we'll be going to next time. Because I am not doing another one more level mistake and accidentally putting in a really hard boss fight after doing a quick level that was a reasonable amount of time. Like I did in the previous hub world, as you may remember. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, there's an orb in Kenyon Speedway? Huh, there is. Is that just for doing everything? Do all the speedways have one of those? They do, huh. Did not know that. I'm sure there's gotta be more levels here. I mean, look how many there are in the other ones. Where are they? Hmm, let's have another quick look around. There's some penguins. Penguins aren't a level. Maybe this, this world is just shorter than the others. It's possible. Right? Uh, let's see, we've got Mystic Marsh. I did that one. Uh, I got some forests, some plains. Those aren't worlds. Those are just the previous. Well, they are worlds, but they're not. They, they think that it's a hub world instead of a level. <laughs> uh, if I talk to you, will you take me? Keep collecting those orbs. We can't send you to Dragon Shores until you have enough. Not only will the orbs help power the super portal, but they'll help you break into the castle. Okay. Spyro, keep oh, I thought you'd take me to the right, to like an area I needed to do or something. Because that's what she normally does. Uh, Spyro to Winter Tundra. Let me just do a quick search and figure out if this world is actually much shorter than the previous two. It seems unlikely. Let's see, we got uh, Mystic Marsh, Cloud Temples, Robotica Farms, Metropolis. No, that that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all there is. Okay, so next time we're going to fight Ripto in his arena. It says you need 40 orbs to get there. We have 60, so yeah, we're, we're good. 
<laughs> um, so yeah. I guess look forward to next time we fire Ripto and see what happens once you do that. Cool, cool, cool. Bye everyone, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know why this world is shorter than the previous ones. Bit weird. Anyway, bye!